This morning, marine rescue crews from throughout Narragansett Bay when searching for a boat reportedly overturned near the Newport Bridge. Now, the pinpoint news tracker takes you to the scene. After about an hour, it was determined the caller had confused the Newport and nearby Jamestown Bridge, and the crews had already investigated and located an overturned boat. But we wanted to know more about how marine rescue crews prepare for stormy conditions like we have had. Eyewitness News reporter Brian Yacono has more from the East Bay Mobile Newsroom now. We hear the phrase be prepared a lot when there's a storm approaching. First responders have to do the same thing while juggling emergencies on land and out on the water. The water off Newport Saturday was choppy. The wind blowing white caps as far as you could see. We have a small boat down here in Newport and they have to go out and actually have to consider the conditions before they can even go out on the water. Deputy Chief Brian Dugan tells me every Marine crew evaluates the wind and water swells. When the report of an overturned boat came in early Saturday, they were five to six foot waves. If you're not experienced a boater, you can definitely get into a situation where you could uh, roll over or get you know, swamp your boat. Captain Stephen Knapman was on the rescue boat and says only experienced boaters should be out in these conditions. They regularly check their wetsuits, flotation devices, and the boats themselves. As the sea churns, more people, he says, are attracted to places like First Beach. Some sightseeing, others in the water, embracing the waves. This type of weather brings them from all over. So we, we are ready to respond over there. We have a jet ski. Uh, Marine 2 down at Station 2, which we use um, on water rescues off of First Beach. But it's just being prepared, being ready to go. Bottom line, none of the crews responding to an emergency on the water want to become another victim, so their skills, their training, and their equipment are regularly reviewed. With the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Brian Yacono, Eyewitness News.